Yes, hello YouTube. Um, yeah, I may not be sounding very good at this point in time because, uh, as some of you people saying, it's even harder for me to actually start speaking because it's a really tight subject to this to me. Um, I think I will stop this financially, just so you don't have it in the background. Um, basically, what this subject is is the fact that today, well. Today, the Thursday, the 20th of July, 2017, is the day we found out that one of the greatest vocal vocalists going, when they made their debut back in the year 2000 with Hybrid Theory, that's right, I'm talking about Linkin Park and the front man, Chester Bennington who unfortunately, sad, sadly, today, was announced that he had um, passed away. So um, we don't actually know what's happened at the moment. Uh, it's uh, believed by the authorities in America, in the LA and California, that he um, has supposedly committed suicide by hanging. These are reports that are not confirmed yet. Uh, we are <coughs> still waiting on news of the actual cause of death. But it is a shock to the world. Um, most people have been trying to see if this has actually been faked. Um, unfortunately, it has not been faked at all. So, um, yeah, it's actually genuine news. Um, I was actually one of these people who thought it was fake news. We've had fake reports of celebrities dying in the past few weeks, and they have all been confirmed as fake. Um, <coughs> Chester Bennington comes out on a news source we don't tend to usually trust so I searched around seeing if there's any other news from this said news source and many other news sources around the world and I did find quite a few I found uh, the Daily Mail which is one of our UK newspapers uh, Loudwire it's a, a rock publication which is quite popular on the um, in the UK, and I think it does actually go quite far in. Billboard, one of the biggest American music industry providers, and let's just say it was looking genuine. But I still had my doubts, so I thought, well, let's see if it's actually hit the mainstream news on television. So I go to um, BBC News, uh, there's other news streams like Sky News, ITV News, there's other news providers around. I go, I'll check BBC, if it's hit them, then it's genuine. Um, obviously, as well in the news, we've had reports of um, OJ Simpson being uh, released on parole. That's, um, he's, he served nine years in prison. He's won his nice little appeal for, well, his pro parole hearing. He's, he's won that, so he's getting released, at least, um, I think sometime possibly before October, the news has been saying. Um, <clears> the <throat> other thing is, and again, after that, I saw scrolling along the bottom of the screen, Linkin Park singer Chester Bennington has died at the age of 41. And I also found out something new about Chester Bennington I didn't know. Um, he, was had, he did actually have a very close connection to, well, let's just say uh, Chris Cornell. Um, and today would have uh, marked his birthday, Chris Connell. So uh, rest in peace, uh, Chris Connell, and happy birthday to you, sir. And yes, um, I am vastly sorry to bring this to you guys. If you're all hardcore Linkin Park fans like myself, unfortunately, I have. I'm a hardcore Linkin Park fan. I've got every album nearly. Um, I think I'm missing about one or two, which I'm going to be looking for and bang. Um, you know, fortunately, I was one of the one of the quite few people who wanted to go see Linkin Park, but at the time didn't have the money to just go and go see them. Um, I was actually planning to go see them at some point this year when they came back to the UK. They came back a few weeks ago. Um, I was waiting for the next part of the tour, which was going to be later on in the year. I was going to go, but unfortunately that has passed, and 
Linkin Park probably will still tour in memory for Just Mountain, but I'm going to wait till I hear news from Mike Shinoda or other members of Linkin Park like Rob, Phoenix and Mr. Han. Oh, I'm glad. Don't give up. And so, yeah. But I am planning on uh, putting a video up, a memorial video to Chester Bennington. Uh, I'll just have to seek a little bit of permission by its first because of the whole copyright infringement. Because it's a song I will be using as Linkin Box in the end, which is off the Hybrid Theory album, the debut album. And that showcases Chester's talent quite well. From a normal sing, singing voice to a little bit of the screamo. But that's what Linkin Park were back then. And I still follow them now. And their new stuff is good. On their new album. But. Yeah. Sad times. So. Uh, Rest in peace, Chester. May you live on in our hearts, in our memories. The whole Lincoln Park underground base thoughts will be with you and your family at this time, with your friends, and also anyone else close. To Chester, co workers, stage crew. Other guys that worked very closely with Lincoln Park over the years. I thought so with you guys at this moment in time. But yeah, sad day for Lincoln Park fans. I'm actually trying to hold back tears at the moment, guys. So this is just taking me quite a while I find about it. Uh, yeah, my first actual video blog post to YouTube and it's not good news but my next one will uh, well I'll try and liven up a little bit because I am a bit more of a lively character now so uh, I shall be signing off now guys and uh, see you next time goodbye